what is going on guys welcome back to another swift video in today's video we're going to be learning about scroll view readers in swift ui this is something new apple introduced in 2020 and it basically allows us to more accurately interact with a scroll view in swift ui so here we've got a scroll view with a bunch of uh, basically just images and text labels but the interesting thing that we're going to look at is how we can use a scroll view reader to enable something like scroll to bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and tap on this and boom, just like that, we scrolled all the way to a particular view actually. And we'll take a look at how to use IDs to go ahead and, you know, get that functionality working along with the awesome animation as well. So if that all sounds good, make sure you start by destroying the like button down below for the YouTube algorithm. If you're new to the channel, or if even if you've been around, if you haven't subscribed yet, definitely hit subscribe. That all said and out of the way, get good ready, get excited. Let's talk about some scroll view readers in Swift UI. All right, we're going to begin by opening up Xcode and creating a new project. We're going to stick with the app template under iOS. Let's go ahead and call our project Swift UI scroll view reader. Make sure your language is set to Swift, your lifecycle and interface are set to Swift UI. Go ahead and continue. Save the project wherever you'd like. We'll toss it onto our desktop. First things first, we're gonna expand our window here. Hit resume to load up our preview. I'm gonna close that right panel since we don't need it. We'll also go ahead and expand this to give ourselves a little more room to work in our code. And let's also go ahead and pick a bit of a more modern device here. We'll pick the 12 Pro Max for our preview and we should see it update just like that. Awesome, so let's talk about some scroll views and scroll view readers. Now, the first thing we need to do in our view here, our content view is, I'm gonna go ahead and replace what we've got with a navigation view. Now that we're gonna wrap inside of a scroll view. And in our scroll view, all I'm gonna go ahead and do is a for each over, let's say zero to a thousand. And let's see, we're gonna go ahead and say that uh, the ID is going to be self. And here we can go ahead and say num in. And for each of these, what I'm gonna go ahead and do is create a label and we want that autocomplete. So for each label, I'm gonna go ahead and add a title and icon. The title is gonna be nothing more than text. We'll go ahead and say position and I'll go ahead and stick in the number right there. For the image, I'm gonna go ahead and use a system name of perhaps house since that's the one that comes to mind. And finally, we have a uh, label like so. Now on the left hand side, we can see our list here. But one thing which is strange is uh, we want everything to be left aligned. So let's see, I believe our scroll view might have an alignment on here. Looks like it does not. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to put this whole for each inside of a vertical stack. We're going to go ahead and add a alignment of leading so it's left aligned. That way we'll uh, start seeing this uh, look a little nicer here. What we can also go ahead and do is on our actual scroll view, let's go ahead and add a navigation title. And let's go ahead and call this scroll view, just like that. We should get a nice title up here once our preview updates, looking good. And I'm also gonna go ahead and add some padding on each of these labels so they're not super close to one another like they are right now. And let's see, let's also go ahead and only drop this inside of a horizontal stack and just add a spacer just to get everything pushed to the left-hand side. Give it a second to update, boom, looking great. So cool, so we're in a scroll view right now, nothing too fancy about that. We can hit the live preview button and of course we can scroll down. Now, something new that Apple introduced in WWDC 2020 is a scroll view reader, hence the title of this video. And that lets you do things um, like scroll to a particular position. Right now, it was pretty difficult to do that before scroll view reader was introduced. And the way scroll view reader uh, works is pretty similar to geometry reader. And it's super simple, actually. What we're gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna grab this entire scroll view and we're gonna go ahead and create a scroll view reader. And this has a proxy that it takes inside of it. We can paste our scroll view back. Let's go ahead and hit command B and make sure everything is still building. Looks like it successfully is still building. I'm gonna go ahead and hit resume on the right hand side to make sure our preview is up to date. 
Let me pause it and just start it again for sanity's sake. So everything looks to be exactly the same as before. What the heck is this proxy thing? So from this proxy, if we actually go ahead and start typing it, you'll see that the type of proxy, well actually it's not showing you, which isn't very, uh, very helpful, but the proxy itself is a lightweight reference of the scroll view. So here what we could do is say scroll view, and let's say we wanted to add a button in here, and the button, when we tap on it, we wanna go ahead and scroll the scroll view to a particular position, we could do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a button here. We'll go ahead and say scroll to bottom. Now on the scroll view, we can go ahead and say scroll to a given index. And we can also say this anchors. Let's go ahead and say anchor. Looks like my autocomplete isn't cooperating. It's okay, we'll type it out ourselves. We'll say anchor to center. Now let's talk about this because this is a little confusing. Where the heck did I get one from? So this function here actually allows us to scroll to another child view that has a ID of one. Now we haven't actually explicitly assigned any ID to this. Now what we could do is do that with a modifier in our for each loop here. What I'll go ahead and say is the ID uh, is the num that we get inside of this for each. So now let's go ahead and say we wanna scroll to position 999 and we wanna anchor the scroll once it stops scrolling to the center of that view. So let's go ahead and pause here and let's play this live preview again. And when I tap on this, you'll see that actually we scrolled all the way to the bottom to this last position. But one thing is kind of weird. It didn't actually scroll, it kind of just jumped and it's kind of ugly, frankly. And that's not what we wanna go ahead and do. So we're in Swift UI, so what's the cool way to fix that? Well, we can animate this, so we can go ahead and say with animation, we wanna say scroll view, scroll to the view at ID 999. Let's go ahead and hit pause. And we're gonna hit this one more time. Let's go ahead and hit that button. And now you'll see we actually scrolled down to that uh, 999 ID to view. Now, one thing that's really important and fundamentally different from UI kit for those of my friends that are coming from, you know, UI scroll view, don't mistake this 999 as a Y offset or X offset. You're not telling SwiftUI to scroll 999 points or pixels. You're scrolling to the sub view, the child view in the hierarchy that has an ID of 999. And you're also saying anchor that to be the center of the screen, which is why 999 here is roughly in the center vertically of this preview. And that's basically it. That is a uh, scroll view reader in a nutshell. Now let's go ahead and just click it and hit jump to definition. Let's see what uh, comment Apple left here for us. I love going through this. So basically they define it as a view whose child is defined as a function of a scroll view proxy. And it's targeting the scrollable views within the child. So you can go ahead and get the content out of this, which makes sense. It's a view builder for the particular content inside of the scroll view reader. It has a body. Let's see what other goodness it has. Looks like that's about it. So basically you get the scroll view reader and you can use a scroll view that it passes inside of it in any of the child uh, work that you need to do here. Oftentimes the most common task is scrolling to a particular position. That's what I found myself using it for more often than not. So uh, that's it, that's all I've got for you guys. If you haven't done so already, make sure you destroy the like button down below, helps out quite a bit. If you're new to the channel or if you've been around for a while and haven't subscribed yet, don't forget to hit subscribe and that notification bell to stay up to date with new videos. And of course, don't hesitate to leave a comment down below for video suggestions, feedbacks, if you just want to say hi for the algorithm, super appreciate it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.